Hi, I'm Pierce Cargill. Um, this is uh, just a little short video about progress with my little home control software. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, some stuff actually working here. Okay, so the uh, prototype actual controller is simple enough. Uh, Arduino chip, um, a memory chip which isn't yet used to store the programs, although I've had it working. Uh, but my programs are so simple it's not really worthwhile at the minute and the radio transmitter receiver uh, the unit you see in red there is just the uh, the thing to uh, blow the actual chip so that's sitting uh, running there over here we have two boards uh, this board here so the, so the, the the board you saw before that's unit zero this board here is unit two in this board here is unit 22. Now they may look like they're flashing slowly here. That's a strobing effect. They're actually flashing slightly too quickly to see. So in this example, power and power, the two units are separated. This one has a relay on one of its outputs. This one doesn't. It has a, a wire on its input. So if I can back that up and show you, if I mess around with this wire here, that's a ground. So if I unground this lead, which will make it go high because it's got a pull-up resistor, you will see as I do it, pretty much instantly that relay light at the right is flashing on and off. So what's happening here is unit two, uh, unit zero is talking to unit two. Unit two is talking to three, uh, to two, two, and relaying information back to zero. In the process, uh, they are sending packets to the units and back to unit zero. Unit zero has a rule that says if the inputs, uh, depending on the state of the inputs on unit two, set the outputs on unit three uh, or reset them and vice versa so the two of them are cross dependent on each other um, and as you can see as I waggle that back and forward I'm going a very very fast I'll do it as fast as I can very fast response rate so that's uh, reading the units going through the list of rules processing the rules sending them back to uh, unit two and then back on to unit three uh, so obviously this will slow down the more units you have but at this point it's working very reliably very quickly only thing you've got to remember the library uh, anything you do like reading a temperature sensor or whatever mustn't stop you polling the, uh, the network library uh, repeatedly um, otherwise it's going to miss packages but uh, that's next to try. I'm going to try analog um, values. So if we have a look here at my radio master code, which is there. Uh, this little section here, there's my rules. If input 1 on unit 2 um, is 0, then set output 1 uh, on unit 18 which is 022 otherwise unset it so this software doesn't know anything about the relaying of information back and forward that's being done by the network there so um, it's fairly straightforward really all you do is just keep uh, building up uh, rules now those rules will um, in fact end up uh, in EEPROM uh, at some point uh, but for right now they're, they're just running um, they're just running there. So you can see, not a lot, an awful lot to it, a um, couple hundred lines or so. And um, that's it. That's where we are right now.